Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this hour, the hour to hear your word. Holy Spirit, we ask that you teach us. Oh, reveal the secret things that only the Spirit of God knows, the secret things of God, in the Word of God, in the Bible, reveal to us. As we hear, let our lives be transformed by the Word of God and by the Spirit of God. Thank you, our Father, for we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So once again, I welcome everyone to this Surefire Live Conference platform, the platform that the Almighty God has given us to make simple, clear, and available to all humankind the pathway to eternal life. Our topic today is the blessing sets. The blessing set. It is a series that we are going to be teaching. Uh, I don't know how long it will take, but definitely the whole of this month. And I encourage everyone who hears this message today, please connect on this platform. The objective of this teaching is to give everyone who listens to this message the understanding and to help everyone discover the blessings of God that are already guaranteed for everyone who has come to Jesus Christ. Everyone in Christ Jesus. So you can live your life to the fullest here on earth. You see, after you have become a Christian, and that means to be like Christ by the Holy Spirit, you are to live by faith and love. It is only what you know, the knowledge you have, that you can live by. You cannot live above your knowledge. You can't. It is what you know you will live by. The Bible says in the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I pray for you that the knowledge that God Almighty has already made available, the guaranteed blessing that God has made available to you and me through Jesus Christ our Lord, you will receive it. You will not lack it. The Holy Spirit will help us to tap into that blessing to tap into that knowledge in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're going to read a number of scriptures. The full topic, to make it clear, is the blessing set of the birth, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So that's the full topic. Amen. Let's start by reading from the scripture from Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. The Bible says, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This is the prophecy that Prophet Isaiah prophesied way, way, way before Jesus was born. He said that for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And this son that is given, the government shall be upon his shoulder. And he said his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This scripture is also corroborated in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. There the Bible says, The Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. 
The same scripture you would see in Matthew chapter 1, verses 22 and 23. So you will not say it is only in the Old Testament. There the Bible says, So all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel which is translated God with us. This prophecy that Isaiah prophesied has been fulfilled. That's the key. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. Again, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. The Bible says that, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Again, this scripture, this prophecy has been fulfilled. So what does it then mean for you and I? That's why we're talking about the blessing set of the birth death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Beloved brothers and sisters, I want to declare to you and hear me and hear me clearly that through the birth, the death, the resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ, who sits right now at the right hand of God, the Father having all power, all authority, all dominion in heaven and on earth over all creations of God, that blessing is available to you and I. All you need to know is the blessing that is available to you. And when you know this, it will affect your life. You see, there are certain kinds of prayer that we pray, even certain kinds of songs that we sing, and it is prayer that we pray in ignorance. Let me give you an example. If, for example, your father were to be a billionaire and your father already paid billions into your account. I know people like to connect with money. So that one is simple for us to understand. So let's use money. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Your father has paid billions into your account already. However, he holds the code to you drawing money from that account. And he has told you, I have paid billions to your account. If you want that money, tell me. He has told you, I paid billions into the, your account. When you, anytime you want that money, ask me for the code. If you want that money, will you go and be telling your father, Father, please give me money. Father, please give me money. Father, please give me money. That is the way many of us are praying. If you pray that way, would your father answer you? He will be looking at you and say, what's wrong with this child? Is this the same child that I said, I have paid billions into your account? And anytime you want it, ask me for the code. Or would you go to your father and start saying, uh, Father, please permit me to take some money out of that account that you paid money into for me. That's the way many people pray. And that's why the Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So beloved brothers and sisters, this session is to teach us the blessing set of the birth, death, resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. There are guaranteed blessings already packaged by reason of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, having come down to this earth, born as a child, as you heard, declared in the book of Isaiah. That's why I read those scriptures for us, to give us the foundation, give us the background. There are blessings already guaranteed. So the focus of this teaching will be for us to discover these blessings guaranteed already. Just like that father that I have used to illustrate for us, 
who have paid money already into his child's account. It may be a son, it may be a daughter. And he has said, when you want to draw the money, ask me for the code. It is the code you need. The code is in the scriptures. And it is revealed by the Spirit of God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, if you go from verse 9, it says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has in store for those who love him. Verse 10 then says, he said, but it is revealed to us. Oh, it is revealed, given to us by the Holy Spirit that is in us. Hallelujah. And if you jump to verse 16, Verse 16 of that same scripture, he says, we have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. We have the mind of Christ. It is by the spirit of God that you receive the code. The code is in the word. So talking about that father and that child, how would that child pray to get resolved? He will go to the father and say, father, I need the code because I want to draw some money. Full stop. Nothing more. And the father will simply give him the code and he goes and draws the money because that's what the father told him to do. Hallelujah. So the blessing set of the birth, the death, the resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ, the son of God. Let me say categorically that this blessing set is for Christians. Those who have become like Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. Because you can only be like Christ if you have the Spirit of God in you. You can only have the Spirit of God in you if you have come to Jesus Christ, repent of your sins and surrender your life to God through Jesus Christ. And ask God to forgive your sins. And thereby ask God to give you His Holy Spirit through His Son, Jesus Christ. When you do that, Believe God by faith that you have received him, the Holy Spirit, and you are a child of God. And of course, the Holy Spirit in you must manifest. There must be evidence. There must be a change in your life. Those sinful lives, sinful habits must go. And we call that the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So very quickly, let's look at the introduction of this teaching, as I said. And that's the much we would be able to take today. So, a set is a group of things that occur together. A set is a group of things that occur together. The contents of a set are called the elements of the set. The contents of a set are called the elements of a set. They all go together. That means... If you have the set, you have all the elements that are in that set going together. It also means that if one element holds true, all the others are true also. For an illustration, let me use a set of jewelry because uh, I think that's a clear example that people can relate with. A set of jewelry. So, for example, a set of jewelry may contain earrings, necklace, and bangle. Let's just take those three as a set. Some could even contain a wristwatch, right? But let's stay with these three. A set of jewelry may contain earrings, necklace, and bangle. So, if you buy that set of jewelry, automatically you get the earrings that are in the set, you get the necklace that is in the set and you get the bangle that is in that set, in that one set of jewelry. Praise the name of the Lord. So the same thing is what we are talking about here. When you have come to Jesus Christ, if you have received Jesus Christ, you receive all the blessings that are packaged in the birth of Jesus Christ. In the death of Jesus Christ, in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and in his ascension to heaven, where he sits, 
having all power and authority in heaven and on earth. He sits at the right hand of the Father, at the right hand of God, and he is in charge of all. In fact, the Bible calls him in the book of Revelation, chapter 1, from verse 5 down. He said he is the ruler over the kings of the earth. I've been hearing some Christians say that the devil is the ruler over the earth. I pity such Christians. That is old knowledge. By the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, he has destroyed the devil. He has stripped him of his power and he has brought you and I into his kingdom. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of Christ. We are no longer in the kingdom of this world. So while we are here on earth, Jesus Christ is the ruler over the kings of the earth. And we are in Christ Jesus. And we share in that dominion. And that's why don't keep your mouth shut over the events of the world. On your knees, you can change government. I tell you, on your knees, you can change government. The story is told of a man of God in his days. The story has it that when he puts his knees down to pray, he prays. Until what he has asked for comes to pass, he wouldn't leave. The story has it that one of the rulers in his time declared, he said, I fear this man of God more than a battalion of soldiers. Of course, I mean, what is secret about it? Let's declare it. His name is John Knox. You can search it out. John Knox. So it is not new thing that I am teaching you. It is a new thing that I'm telling you, brothers and sisters. We have been brought into Christ Jesus. And there is a packaged blessing that goes with it. So with this understanding, all you need is faith. That same faith that you exercised to receive salvation, to receive the forgiveness of sins, and you are now living a righteous life and you have the confidence and the witness of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit of God, that you are a child of God. That is the same faith you need. It's not anything extraordinary. The only addition you need to that faith now is this knowledge and your willingness to practice what you hear and what you're going to hear. So in the same manner, as I have just described the set, the birth, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ has brought a set of blessings. Now, plural, a set of blessings to mankind, which I call the blessing set. All those who are in Christ Jesus are entitled to this set of blessings in the blessing set. I will just run through a few of them. We are going to be teaching two per session. So these blessings are listed, a number of them, and there can be more than this. We are going to take 10 of those blessings that make up the element of this set that we call the blessing sets. These are the elements of the set we call the blessing set. Number one. The blessing of forgiveness of your sins and my sins and deliverance from the power and nature of sin. You have been forgiven if you have come to Jesus Christ. Totally, completely. So when you hear people who go weeping, God forgive me. There are people who either haven't come to Jesus Christ or they don't know who they are. You have been forgiven already if you have come and confessed your sins to Jesus Christ. However, of course, if you fall into sin, yes, you should really weep and repent. But we have talked about this, so I won't spend time on that. So by the Spirit of God, we are to live in righteousness. The nature of sin is destroyed in your life, in our lives. 
the power of sin has been broken. Number two, deliverance from power of darkness and dominion over Satan, his work, and all his agents. Deliverance, you have been delivered. If you are in Christ Jesus, you have been forgiven your sins completely, as I've mentioned, and you have been delivered from the power of darkness. And you have been given, we have been given dominion over the devil and all his works and all his agents. We will be taking this one by one. So next Sunday, we are going to deal with these two. We will go deep and you will learn the codes. Number three, the blessing of the Holy Spirit with his gifts, power. His gift is called the power of the Holy Spirit and fruit, which is the righteousness of God. That's number three. Number four, healing. You have been given healing by the stripes of Jesus. You have been healed. Number five, the blessing of sonship. Through Jesus Christ and by the Holy Spirit, you have been adopted as a son, as a daughter of God. Oh, and that carries so much blessing, carries so much power, carries so much authority. I will stop at this five. We will be dealing with this five subsequently. We will take the next two next Sunday, which is number one and two. The blessing of the forgiveness and the blessing of deliverance. Let me close with a testimony. A sister was associated with a small um, fellowship group of believers. And a sister in our midst was not feeling well. And every time she would be saying, I am strong, I am strong, I am strong. And we were rotating the sharing session. So when my turn came, I decided to share on the blessing set and point the group to the fact that healing, you have already been given healing if you're born again by the Spirit of God. If you have come to Jesus Christ, you have been given healing. God is your healer. The Lord God said, I am the Lord that healed thee. And so I shared that word and we prayed. And the sister took the word of God and believed God. We, not, we were doing this uh, weekly. The next week we gathered and she was full of excitement and said she was preparing to go to the hospital that day. And she was just asking God, help me. And so that word, God sent a word to her in time and she was healed. Beloved, if you know how to use the code that God has given to us in the scripture. And the word of God is not hidden, it's there, it's plain. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are healed. You were already healed. First Peter 2.24 confirmed the prophecy that Isaiah prophesied. And the synoptic gospels recorded that this event happened and you are part and parcel of that. So you have heard the word. Make it a point of duty to join this journey, this discovery in this month of October. The Almighty God bless you. So if you have not given your life to Jesus and you have connected to this program, or you are not sure of your salvation, the salvation that Jesus Christ gives to mankind is not one with uncertainty. It is fully certain. If you're in Christ Jesus, the Holy Spirit bears witness with your spirit that you are a child of God. There is no doubt about it. And so if you're uncertain or you have not been able to live victorious life by the Spirit of God, I want you to surrender your life to Jesus now as we pray. And so go ahead right now and tell him, Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying for me. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the blessing of forgiveness of my sins. Deliverance from sin and from the power and nature of sin through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Now, Father, I ask, please forgive me. 
Wash me with the precious blood of Jesus. Deliver me from the power of sin. And now give me victory over sin. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Make me a brand new creature. As it is written, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Father God, make me a new creature in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty God, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, join me now as we are praying by faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the word that you have taught us, the blessing set of the birth, death, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I have enumerated your blessing to your children. Lord, I ask that you will help every one of us to appreciate and appropriate this blessing in our life. And therefore, I pray anyone that is sick in his or her body right now, receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, almighty God. Anyone that is oppressed by the devil in any way, in any form, I cast down that devil according to the authority that Jesus Christ has given to me, given to us as Christians, as children of God. I cast you out, devil, from that life. I terminate your operation in the life of anyone that is connected upon this platform right now. I command your affliction, devil, to cease. Jesus has destroyed you, devil. Jesus has destroyed your works. As is written in the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 8. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. I command every work of the devil over your life, over your family, to be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus, receive the spirit grace, the spirit of God, and excel. In this month of October, I declare over you and your family that you shall experience the greater blessing of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you real good.